reserves at Yes? I'm trying to find a local forger. He goes by the name of Fade. Yeah, I know him. The alias, anyway. He's been a thorn in the Network Division's side for the last year. He works with the Blue Suns. Where can we find him? Yeah, if I knew that, he'd be in a cell. Best I can do is put you on the trail. There's a warehouse in the marketplace. Some of Fade's contacts work out of there. Go ask them some questions. Gently, of course. Why haven't you been able to catch him? Whoever he is, he's damn good at avoiding CSEC. I think someone on the inside's feeding him information. Either that, or he's got access to our databases and comm channels. I don't know which is worse. But you're outside CSEC. Maybe you can nail his ass. I should be going. You need anything else? Let me know. This looks like the place. The forgers... I just talked to him on the wards market. He sent me here. Come on, why do I need a service order? The wards market? Why would you come to a Zakara ward warehouse? He said there are...
You're not quite how I imagined you. Looks can be deceiving. So, which one of you wants to disappear? I'd rather see you make someone reappear. Ah, uh, that's not the service we provide. Make an exception. Just this once. Damn it! Quick! Shoot them! Shoot them, you lumbering mountains! Why don't you two find somewhere else to skulk? Just like that? You're not getting paid for this. What's the point of hiring protection if they won't protect you? We're looking for someone. A client of yours. Not mine. I'm not Fade. I just work for him. Sort of. I knew it. Well then, maybe you'd like to tell us where to find him. Yes, of course. He's in the factory district. Works out of the old prefab foundry. I know the place. Oh, he's got a lot of mercs there. Blue Suns. Harkin thinks they're protecting him. What do the Blue Suns have to do with this? They use his services to help their people infiltrate businesses and various organizations here on the Citadel. Bastard. He's using CSEC to help those scum. Uh, no, no, no. Well, not really. He got fired from CSEC a while ago. But he still knows the systems. Interesting. But it changes nothing. We still need to find him before we can get to Sedonis. Well, let's go pay Harkin a visit. We'll need to go to the transit station. I can get us to him from there. So I, uh... I can go? Sure, but if we don't find Harkin, we'll be back for you. Oh, good. Wait, this was a trick, wasn't it? You sent me to the wrong place just to get me to leave. I wouldn't know anything about that. I've been trying to get this recon for two years. Two years! Not that bad. You'd get a lot farther in life if you just... Stand there! Stop them! Stop them! Run all you want, Harkin! We'll find you! Get ready! Now you see me! Oh, 
smoking. Harkin's in here somewhere. I can smell him. They come. from the right.
going dark. Heavy mech overhead. Watch out. What the hell is Hawking up to? So, Harkin's finally gone completely bad. He was always a pain in the ass, but I'm in no mood for his games. If he doesn't cooperate, I'll beat him within an inch of his life. We seem to be getting tense, Garrus. Harkin may know why Sedonis wanted to disappear. If so, he knows why we're here, and I don't want him tipping Sedonis off. Did you see that? I saw something. He's getting ready for us. What are you gonna do to Harkin if he won't cooperate? He's a real criminal now, working for the Blue Suns. I should just shoot him on sight. But I need him alive, so I won't do any permanent damage. Just enough to loosen his tongue. You don't need him hurt to get what you want. Don't worry, Harkin's a coward. He'll talk long before I can really hurt him. What do you think Harkin's got waiting for us in there? Not sure. It looks like an industrial complex, heavy machinery. Could be anything. Something's in there. Probably more blue suns. Harkin's kind of trapped himself in a corner. He must have something in store for us. What are you gonna do to Harkin if he won't cooperate? He's a real crimp, but I need him alive, so I won't do any permanent damage. Just enough to loosen his tongue. You still planning to kill Sedonis when we find him? That's the plan. It'll be quick and painless. Unlike everyone he betrayed, he'll be spared the agony of a slow death. It's more than he deserves, but as long as he's dead, I'll be satisfied. Garrus, do you really think killing Sedonis will make things right? I know you don't like it, Shepard, but I have to do this. Is there no other way? Maybe, but this is personal. I'll pull the trigger and I'll live with the consequences. All I'm asking is that you help me find him. Well, there's one way to find out. Right behind you. This should come in handy. Shepard, I have patched into the warehouse scanners. The crates in the transport.
transport carriers overhead are rigged to explode when dropped. Good to know. Why don't you just turn around? You see that? Incoming. Do you really think you can take me down, Shepard? Not close enough. So, fade. Couldn't make yourself disappear, huh? Come on, Garrus. We can work this out. What do you need? I'm looking for someone. Well, I guess we both have something the other one wants. Here to ask favors, Harkin. You don't say. 
You helped a friend of mine disappear. I need to find him. I might need a little more information than that. His name was Sedonis. Torian came from the... I know who he is, and I'm not telling you squat. Harkin, this doesn't have to be hard. Screw you. I don't give out client information. It's bad for business. <laughs> you know what else is bad for business? A broken neck. Uh, all right, all right. Get off me! <laughs> Terminus really changed you, huh, Garrett? No, but Sidonis opened my eyes. Now arrange a meeting. I'm going. Yeah, it's me. There's a chance your identity may be compromised. That's why I'm calling. I'm sending an agent. Where do you want to meet? All right, he'll be there. Don't worry, I got it covered. It's all good. He wants to meet you in front of Orbital Lounge, middle of the day. So if our business is done, I'll be going. I don't think so. You're a criminal now, Harkin. So what? You're just gonna kill me? That's not your style, Garrus. Kill you? No. But I don't mind slowing you down a little. You don't need to shoot him. He won't be able to hide from CSEC now. I guess it's your lucky day. Yeah. I hope we can do this again real soon. <clears throat> I didn't shoot him. Come on, let's move. Sedonis better be there. Or I'm coming back to finish the job. Harkin's a bloody menace. We shouldn't have just let him go. He deserved to be punished. I'm getting a little worried about you, Garrus. You were pretty hard on Harkin. You don't think he deserved it? It's just not like you. What do you want from me, Shepard? What would you do if someone betrayed you? I'm not sure, but I wouldn't let it change me. I would have said the same thing before it happened to me. It's not too late. You don't have to go through with this. Who's going to bring Sidonis to justice if I don't? Nobody else knows what he's done. Nobody else cares. I don't see any other options. Let me talk to him. Talk all you want, but it won't change my mind. I don't care what his reasons were. He screwed us. He deserves to die. I understand what you're going through, but do you really want to kill him? I appreciate your concern, but I'm not you. This isn't you either. Really? I've always hated injustice. The thought that Sidonis could get away with this. Why should he go on living while ten good men lie in unmarked graves? I'm sorry, Shepard. Words aren't going to solve this problem. I need to set up. I can get a clear shot from over there. What do you need me to do? Keep him talking and don't get in my way. I'll let you know when he's in my sights. Give me a signal so I know you're ready, and I'll take the shot. You better go. He'll be here soon. Shepard, can you hear me? Loud and clear. All right. There he is. Wave him over and keep him talking. Let's get this over with. You're in my shot. Move to the side. This won't take long at all. You want a Harkins man? I don't remember seeing you before. That's it. Just keep him talking a few more seconds. I was told Harkin was one of the best. This better not happen again. 
Oh, it won't. Don't worry. What? Shit. Betrayal repaid Sidonis. That was easy enough. Clean and simple. Good work. Thanks for helping me, Shepard. Let's get moving. I need to get away from this place. Right with you. Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. Fine, fine. I just need to pick up some spices. Amino dextrous and amino sinister, if you have it. favorite store on the Citadel. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. You know what I haven't had in ages? Ramen. My grandmother used to make the best ramen. Delicious. Thinking back, I really should have stolen her recipe. Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel.
Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. Commander. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Later, updating crew dental records. All Cerberus personnel have cyanide capsules and molars. Primitive. Ocular nerve flashbangs harder to disarm. Anything else? I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. Commander, can I help you with something? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. Sounds good. I could use some downtime. There's always something, right? The way some people talk, we may as well be dead already. Hard for the crew to relax on this kind of job. No kidding. The next Normandy gets a lounge. They better not need to do this again. Rebuilding everything was a pain in the ass. I can verify that. Yeah, I bet you can. I doubt they'll front the money to stitch me back together if we screw it up. It's a hell of a job, isn't it, Shepard? Being the good guys. Wouldn't be the high road if it was easy. You've got to figure, if all the people hoping we win stood up, the Collectors would have a much bigger fight on their hands. Claws, whatever. I bet we have a lot more friends once we win. Hope we live to see it. I hear that. Anyway, I need to get back to work. Good talking to you. I can't believe the Collectors were once Protheans. I always pictured Protheans being regal, not giant... bugs. Who knows what the Reapers did to them. Creepy. Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Maybe another time. I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Sure, just killing time anyway. I wanted to thank you again for your help with Sedonas. Whatever happens with the Collectors or the Reapers or whoever else comes after us, I know you'll get the job done. You actually think we'll find something worse than Collectors or Reapers? I like to expect the worst. There's a small chance I'll be pleasantly surprised. 
I couldn't do this without you, Garrus. Sure you could. Not as stylishly, of course. It's strange going into a suicide mission on a human ship. Your people don't prepare for high-risk operations the way Turians do. Honestly, Garrus, what do you think our chances are? Honestly? The Collectors killed you once, and all they did is piss you off. I can't imagine they'll stop you this time. But, an unmapped area, advanced technology, and the Collectors. We're going to lose people. No way around that. Not a happy analysis, I know. Don't worry. I won't spread it around. And I'm with you regardless. Do you ever regret leaving CSEC or the Turian military? Not for a minute. When it comes down to it, Shepard, I don't think I'm a very good Turian. When a good Turian hears a bad order, he follows it. He might complain, but he knows his place. I just don't see the point in staying quiet and polite. Not when the galaxy is at stake. How do Turian crews get ready for high-risk missions? With violence, usually. Turian ships have more operational discipline than your Alliance, but fewer personal restrictions. Our commanders run us tight, and they know we need to blow off steam. Turian ships have training rooms for exercise, combat sims, even full-contact sparring. Whatever lets people work off stress. You mean Turian ships have crewmen fighting each other before a mission? It's supervised, of course. Nobody's going to risk an injury that interferes with the mission, and it's a good way to settle grudges amicably. I remember right before one mission, we were about to hit a Batarian pirate squad. Very risky. This recon scout and I had been at each other's throats. Nerves, mostly. She suggested we settle it in the ring. I assume you took her down gently? Actually, she and I were the top-ranked hand-to-hand -hand specialists on the ship. I had reach, but she had flexibility. It was brutal. After nine rounds, the judge called it a draw. There were a lot of unhappy betters in the training room. We uh, ended up holding a tiebreaker in her quarters. I had reach, but uh, she had flexibility. More than one way to work off stress, I guess. I thought you'd be used to high-risk operations on human ships. I mean, think about tracking Sarah to Ilos. Sure, but that was quick. We raced out, landed, blew up some geth, and saved the galaxy. This time we've got Miranda and Cerberus and that AI all telling us what we're up against. I think I preferred blind optimism. Thanks for the talk, Garrus. I'll see you later. Sure thing. <laughs>